It's been a while since you last heard from me, but I'm finally back with some new code. So hello guys, I'm Roman from Tentech and let's talk about support interfaces and how to potentially improve them. A while ago I saw the video from Yantech Engineering, where he talks about using Sharpies and other stuff as a release agent for supports. This allows you to set your support distance to zero and print directly onto the support interface. This got me thinking about ironing. What if we iron the support interface to get the smoothest surface possible and combine it either with the Sharpie technique or multi-material support? In theory, this should result in an even smoother surface quality. I then coded a post-processing script to make that possible, and it was quite a challenge. It is kind of difficult to define the surface which needs to be ironed purely based on G-code. I got a working solution right now, but it is still very experimental and it will have errors in the ironing later generation. I also simply didn't have the time to test it enough and find the perfect settings. That's why I kind of let it slide for the last couple of weeks. I just thought I couldn't release it in this state. But I had to remind myself that if the 3D printing community loves something, it is tinkering, testing stuff and improving everything. And that's exactly where I need you guys. This is a concept, the script is not perfect, but if it proves to be a good concept, there might be a good reason to implement it into the slicers. So why hold something back that isn't perfect if there is a hive mind with different ideas, experiences and solutions? So let's make use of that and maybe come up with something cool. Let's talk about how you can install the script and how to use it. It currently only works in Prusa Slicer. First, you need to download the script from my GitHub and put it in any directory on your computer. You can find the link in the description. Now you need to make sure that you have an installed Python version. For that, open your console and type where Python. If nothing shows up, you'll need to grab it from python.org and install it. Make sure to check those two checkboxes in the install wizard. Now copy the path to Python from the console. In Prusa Slicer, go to Print Settings and then Output Options and add the path to Python in the Post Processing Scripts text box. Make sure to put quotation marks around it. Now add the path to the downloaded script and also add quotation marks. The script has four settings. Flow rate, spacing and speed, which do the same thing as in normal ironing. And shrink, which is script specific. You can add those settings behind the path with a dash in front and a number after them. Dash flow rate is a factor based on the normal flow rate. So 1 is 100% and 0.1 is 10% of the normal flow rate. Dash spacing is simply the ironing line spacing in millimeter. Dash speed is the ironing speed in millimeter per second. Dash shrink is a setting to shrink the calculated boundaries of the ironing layer in millimeter. This can be a workaround if the calculated boundaries are not perfect. Now let's also look at the support settings. If you plan to use a Sharpie or multi-material support, you can set the contact set distance to zero, or maybe a very low number to account for the extra material. I would also suggest to reduce the interface pattern spacing to zero, but that's where you will have to test what works best in your case. Because of a bug, you also have to set the interface layer count to one. Now let's slice something. I would suggest starting with a floating box and then set the pause at the corresponding height to better look at the results until you are happy with your settings. Note that the script runs on export, so if you want to look at the process G-code, you'll have to reopen it in the G-code viewer. If it doesn't work, try to use your slicer in admin mode. Alright, that is everything needed to start playing around with this concept. Make sure to share your results, ideas and problems on GitHub or in my subreddit. You can find both of them in the description. And please share your opinion in the comments and leave a like and subscribe if you want to support my channel and this video. Thank you for watching and happy printing! Goodbye!